Hi everybody, welcome back to a new video. Today we're taking a look at the clutch camera hand strap from Peak Design. It's this bad boy. I've had it for over a week now, but I've been putting off opening it because I wanted to make a video of it, show you what it's all about, um, how it works, what I think about it, testing it out in the field. So we're gonna jump straight into taking a closer look at the clutch camera hand strap from Peak Design right after this. One, two. Okay guys, this is the strap, opening it up, you uh, it comes in this nice, nice box actually, which previews the product when you open it like that. Nice little Velcro things there, so uh, you can take a look at it if you're in the shop. Uh, it comes with these anchor points, which I'll explain in just a little bit, um, which are really good. I use these, if you can see them, uh, like so. And it comes with this spare clip, and these simply go into there like that focus on that and then clip in those those are not coming off and that is the same as the camera strap uh, fittings that you can buy I bought these and I did a video about them a while back they're the same things look um, right there and it comes with two of those Th these camera straps actually come with four of these little fittings there um, so I've got some spare ones of those anyway but it does actually come with a spare um, with a spare one and it comes with the the tool to fit the um, tripod mount on the bottom. The tripod mount is made of metal, um, which, is, which is handy. The actual locks themselves, it's plastic, um, but they feel very, very strong. The strap has that nice sort of soft design on the back, which is very nice. The buckle itself is made of metal, and all in all, it looks like a very good build quality. The actual tripod mount is probably a little light. It is metal, but it's very lightweight, which is a plus and a bonus, I suppose. Only time will tell. Um, but I'm gonna fit this onto the camera and see what it looks like. Okay, so there we are, it's fitted. The strap fits to that bit onto your camera strap um, anchor point on the actual camera. Um, so depending on which camera you've got, it fits pretty snugly. And then your wrist is simply going through there. It starts off pretty loose. To tighten it up, we pull that, that tab there to tighten it up around your wrist, which is lovely. And it feels, it can get nice and tight, so now I've got the camera strap uh, strapped to my wrist nice and tight. It does go very tight, actually. And then to, if I focus on that bit, to, to loosen it, you just simply pull up on that and it loosens off so you can get your hand out like that. Once it's tightened down, it's not coming off. I can't pull it off unless you release that, which is easy to release, I must say. Um, so you don't want to knock that, but once it's in, it's in, and then you've got your, your nice camera usage for doing the photography. So it feels like, just feels more secure to the hand. Um, but that's the fitting. I'm impressed, first impressions, very good. So we're gonna get out, gonna test it out, see what it's like. Going out and about, taking some photos, and see what it's like to use on a daily basis. is where I come to film the odd vlog because you just get nobody here <laughs> and I can walk around vlogging like an idiot without anybody saying what are you doing or well, looking at me in a weird, weird way so yeah we're up here just taking a few photos I've just attempted to take a photo of sort of that landscape because in the summer in high summer I was up here and I took a photo that way uh, one of my subscribers Tim mentioned that that would be a good photo to experiment doing it in all four seasons so I'm up here um, it's, I suppose it's the start of autumn it's definitely getting autumny weather wise and um, I've taken a photo maybe it's a bit too nice today uh, it's very cloudy the clouds are absolutely popping off in that direction the photos look amazing because you've got the sun lighting it from below but I've taken the photo anyway that way just with the camera using the new strap using the new Peak Design um, camera strap, uh, liking it so far. But yeah, that photo come out pretty well. I'll edit it later on to see if it actually does look like the first one I took in the summer. Hopefully they look similar. I'll be able to crop them a little bit just to make them look identical. And uh, yeah, make sure I do it in the winter as well. I'm trying to remember, I have set a reminder on my phone. 
Let's talk strap quickly while the sun just disappears into the horizon. Couple of the good things about it, right? The the build quality, amazing. The actual strap itself feels really, really soft on the hand. It's nicely padded, uh, feels nice and tight. The the buckle, the metal buckle on the top there, very nice. Easy to release it as well. Uh, a little bit too easy maybe to release it. Um, comes off very quickly when you press when you flick the switch up carabiner type thing when you flick it it opens up quite quickly so make sure you've got a good hold on the camera all the time makes it feels just so much more secure when i'm just carrying it like this uh, it's down by my side like that and it just I've, it's got i mean the r6 has got a good grip on it and i was just holding all that a lot of the time but it just gives you a little bit more extra security while you're just carrying it around uh, feels very secure in the hand very nice yeah build quality nice it's the the fact that it's got the the clips on the bottom and you've got that arc swiss style mount as well so you can put it on a tripod and that's always there is brilliant um so yeah all in all very very nice there are there's maybe just one negative the fact i, I don't know it's a if it's a negative for me or a negative for everybody but the fact when you've got, if you, I don't know if you can see, when I'm holding the camera like that, I've got the dial there to change ISO. Can just reach with my thumb to adjust the, the shutter speed with that dial, but my finger doesn't quite bend back enough so I can uh, adjust the shutter speed with the dial on the top there when you've got your hand in the strap of the camera. You can't quite get my finger back. I don't know if my hands are too big. I haven't got particularly big hands, um, but just, just a little bit awkward that is mainly that is the main downside to to that and trying to operate the canon r6 in particular anyway happy with it for the price outstanding quality very very nice strap and it's what i've been looking for i'm not a real over the head shoulder kind of strap guy um i, I find they clang around a little bit and they're just a little bit too restricting so i just wanted something that i could have a that would add that extra little bit of security while I'm carrying my camera around and this is this has done the job more than adequately and yeah I think I'm gonna get well I think I mentioned at the start of the video that it's compatible with other Peak Design stuff so um, you can get the actual hook like that goes onto your new camera bag and you can put it there so I can carry this camera around like that or down a bit further so I'm gonna get that I think as well so yeah it's got that Peak Design mounting on the bottom as you can see there and it's compatible with those sort of camera bag hooks as well so i'm going to grab one of those at some point and that's it i think we'll go back to the studio now finish off the video thanks for joining me on my little expedition out and the sheep walks the sun's just about to set in the distance Could try and get some more photos before i run out of time see you back in the studio okay so i'm shooting the second half of this video back in the studio on the canon m50 i don't know if you can notice the difference the first section in the studio was an R6 in 4K. Um, just, don't know, playing around with the cameras. Anyway, that was the Peak Design clutch strap. Very impressed. I've been using it over the last couple of days since I filmed the first half of this video. And it's just a quality product. Peak Design makes some very nice products of, let's see, it's the second strap um, strap system that I've bought from Peak Design and I've been impressed with them. The other camera strap system with the locks um, is I've been using that for the last year and it's never let me down. Like I said I'm not a massive camera strap person anyway when it comes to using like a full strap. This clutch strap is going to be staying on the R6 for sure definitely for my photography as that is my main photography camera. Fantastic, good product, can't recommend it enough. If you want to grab one for yourself uh, the link is in the description below. That is an affiliate link so it does help this channel if you buy through that link much appreciated and if you're new to the channel please make sure you subscribe press the bell so you don't miss any future uploads lots and lots of cool videos coming up soon i say that every time but i really do mean it there's uh, lots of plans and lots of content coming very soon so press the bell so you don't miss any future uploads until next time though guys thanks for watching take it easy i'm not sure what i'm not sure what, i'm not sure what that was about but i did it anyway um a little bit awkward anyway see you soon bye guys